It's my honor now to introduce Brianne Michaels, our valedictorian. Wow, there's a lot of people. Okay. <laughs> Hi, uh, my name is Brianne Michaels, and I am the girl who studied way too much in college. Um, I don't know how many of you have had the pleasure knowing mathematics professor Mary Porter, but she describes everything as low pressure situations. I am not so, so sure this applies to this moment, but um, so allow me this indulgence to get things started. Because we were told that there are to be, quote, no selfies during the reception of the diploma or the, or the procession, I thought we should take a class of 2014 commencement selfie right now. So, <laughs> so if you want to stand up so you could get in it. Uh -huh. I'll try to get to Thanks, everyone. I will be tweeting that later, so. All right. Well, here we are, all are. We did it. We survived and we conquered eight semesters. Eight semesters of finals and eight semesters of completing the 10 question ResNet quiz in order to access the internet. <laughs> Does anyone remember the print limit? No, me neither. What we do remember is that whenever there is the option for any question, always choose all of the above. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> we began our journey together here at St. Mary's by moving into our luxurious and spacious non-air conditioned dorm rooms. Shortly thereafter, we attended the one of a kind freshman experience known as Domer Fest. We discovered that the all-you-can-eat dining hall was sweet until we realized that eating froyo every day as a supplement to greasy pizza and mystery meat was probably not the best nutritional decision. <laughs> we turned 21 together, and we even experienced late nights at the backer together. Some of us probably even first met in Blinky, but we won't go there. <laughs> I'm so bad at not laughing. <laughs> we quickly learned about wing day in the dining hall and tried not to use up all of our munch money during the first week of classes. We have had eight semesters of college finals experience and I must say that we have learned a lot. We have become skilled in the art of procrastination and ordering the delivery of every possible fattening food imaginable during finals week. During our first year at St. Mary's, we experienced the first snow day here in a billion years. Okay, not a billion, but when I asked for a specific number of years, I was told that snow days, quote, never happen at St. Mary's. Interpret that however you wish. Now in our senior year, there was not one, but two snow days. Needless to say, 2014, the 2014 class knows how to arrive and leave with a bang. You're welcome, St. Mary's. <laughs> Unless you were an essential employee, in which case, you did not have the exuberant pleasure of receiving the text message, phone call, and email trio sent to you by security notifying you of the campus closure. I wasn't always a fan of St. Mary's. In fact, in grade school, I visited St. Mary's with my dad for Hypatia Day. I remember leaving Carroll Auditorium when my dad turned to me and said, maybe you will go here someday. No way, I said. This is an all girls school. I'm sure there was some eye rolling going on there too. But fast forward a few years and I was applying early admission to St. Mary's. To my great relief, I was accepted. And to my parents' great relief, I was awarded the presidential scholarship. 
Joking aside, the all women's aspect of this college is part of what makes it such a wonderful community. I was once asked what it means to be a bell. The truth is I cannot define what it means to be a St. Mary's bell. Each student adds something to the, adds something unique to the, our community and gets something unique out of the experience. What each bell shares is that she belongs to a sisterhood of women who recognize and support each other, both while in college and long after graduation. You cannot find that at just any college. While here, each of us has developed a level of confidence that we will take with us to our careers, continuing education, our marriages, our roles as parents, and wherever our paths lead us. Because we have spent our time at St. Mary's supporting and empowering each other, my hope is that we continue to support and empower each other, as well as women outside the St. Mary's community. I think it is safe to say that each of us will be leaving here with a number of lifelong friends that we developed here at St. Mary's. Personally, I find that to be as valuable as the outstanding education we have each received. Interestingly, there are nearly 280 students in the class of 2014, and somehow my three best friends are all named Megan. <laughs> Apparently, my parents didn't get the Megan memo 22 years ago. Our college friends have seen sides of us that probably no one else ever will. They've seen us at our weakest and at our strongest. And they have come to know and accept some of our strangest behaviors. Frankly, if our future employers knew how my friends and I act on only a few hours of sleep, they would not even trust us with mopping the floors. <laughs> One of my Megans and I once annexed the math department conference room, better known as the fishbowl, as our home for two weeks. We knew we needed help when a St. Mary's security officer strongly suggested we go to the fever instead of studying. And when, <laughs> and when he offered us pizza as a replacement for our new diet of goldfish and Twizzlers. So there's that. <laughs> oh God, okay. Upon high school graduation, most of us could not tell you what we, we, what we would be doing with our lives beyond where we would be attending college. Today still, most of us, like myself, will likely tell you that we do not know where we will be or what we will be doing in five years from now. Although I have never received a grade in giving advice, I will tell you that being open-minded and flexible about our futures is okay. We are the young, classy, and fabulous class of 2014, and we have been prepared to make our own way in life. We are ready. Over the past four years, I'm sure you discovered that you have talents and skills that you never knew you had. I discovered that I am skilled at such things as matchmaking and being a nerd, but fortune telling wasn't one of them. So if you look to, to me to provide some meaningful words about the future, I am not exactly sure what to say. The truth is, none of us knows what the future holds for us. When I leave here, like many of you, I will be going to work full time. For me, it's at a company called Land O'Lakes. Contrary to popular belief, my goal is not to become proficient in churning butter. <laughs> Rather, I'm going as an information technology rotational analyst. One of the benefits of this position is that for the first two years, I will change positions every six months. So even in this one company, I am not sure what I will like most or what best suits my skill set. Like many of you, I don't know the exact career I want or where I want to live, but this is where I will begin the next phase of my life. What I do know is that I am excited for our futures. We have been prepared to be leaders. I am excited to learn about and explore my passions. I am excited to see what my St. Mary's sisters will accomplish and what you and I will do to make a real difference in this world. Recently, I remarked to someone that my life is complicated, and I was jokingly told that I should share this with my peers in my commencement speech. I laughed it off, but it caused me to think that this sentiment must be felt by most of us. Life is unexpected and life is complicated. Life is complex and life is challenging. Things don't always go the way we plan them, but what kind of life would it be if they did? Pretty boring, really. We'll never appreciate the sweet without the bitter. 
We cannot appreciate the thrill of victory without the agony of defeat. We can only rise to a challenge if a challenge arises. We need to embrace our many blessing, blessings and count them as they say. Hurdle the obstacles that come our way. Go around the roadblocks and sometimes smash through them. Robert Frost puts it this way, quote, in three words I can sum up everything I've learned about life. It goes on, end quote. In case you've been waiting for it, I am not going to tell you Today is the first day of the rest of your lives. I'm not even going to tell you to let epsilon be greater than zero because it is too cheesy for even the mathematicians out there. What I am going to kindly remind you is that for many of us, today marks the beginning of our rent and bill paying adulthood where we will have far more responsibilities than just unplugging our, our electronics prior to leaving for winter break. On a serious note, we have the world at our fingertips. We can accomplish whatever we set out to do. Remember that as we travel on our collective journeys, we will never be alone. We have nearly 280 sisters from the class of 2014 rooting us on, and the sisters of all the classes before us and all the classes after us. I am honored to call myself a St. Mary's graduate, but most of all, I am honored to have had the pleasure of living among and working alongside all of you. It's been an honor and a privilege. Once a bell, always a bell. Thank you. <laughs>